Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing an unboxing and just an unboxing of the soldering iron kit electronics Yum 14 in 1 6 to watt adjustable temperature soldering iron with on off switch 15 piece soldering iron tips desoldering pump tweezers stand solder PSU carry bag all right well that's the entire name of the Amazon listing but um, I think this should just be called the Yulm 14-in-1 Adjustable Temperature Soldering Iron Kit. Alright, this is what it came with. Well, it didn't come like this. It came in the box, obviously. And this is what was in the box. Uh, not, well, yeah. It's kind of leather. Well, yeah, leather. Zipper. Let's open up. See what's in the box. Sorry, should open like this. And here's what's in the box. We have a thank you, thank you letter, and user manual. This user manual describes everything in here except, I don't know if you can see this, test leads. We have two test leads here, but I don't think we really have test leads in here. It says test leads here, but we don't have any test leads here. So here's what we have. These are your soldering tips. You can remove the tip from the soldering iron and replace them with the tips here. We have a wire cutter slash wire stripper. To strip the wire, you put it through here. You squeeze down. Then you rotate a couple of times and then you pull it out. All right, wire cutter slash wire stripper. We have wires here, two wires. Um, these are 24 AWG electronic wire. We have our anti-static tweezers here. Uh, tin for soldering. This is our desoldering pump. Okay, let me take this out. Now to use your desoldering pump, what you'd want to do is you would put your soldering iron Put the uh, hot tip onto your solder point, which you want to desolder. You would push down the plunger so you hear that click. You would put the nozzle to your now melted solder, which you want to desolder, and then you push the button. Ta da! This sucks the solder up in here, and that's how you desolder. You reheat, put put the nozzle to your, the point that you want to desolder, push the button. Yeah, and to, to I guess when you eventually want to take the solder out from here, twist it like that, and then you pull it out. Push up, back. desolder pump. Now over here we have our soldering iron. Uh, let me take this out. All right, soldering iron. These are, this is the tip which you can you replace with these if you so choose, if you so desire. And this is your adjustable temperature knob. Let's see how close I can get while keeping it in focus. And yeah, adjustable temperature on off switch. Adjustable temperature is in degrees Fahrenheit and you can rotate the dial to your desired settings. Now here we have the stand. Stand comes in pieces. This is your sponge. All right, so right now I'm going to assemble the stand. All right, yeah, when you're adjusting the stand, when you're put, uh, assembling the stand start, you put one nut on first, and you insert the holder to the base. Let's see if I can get this on. All right, there we go. Let's. Then you tighten the back end. You put the nut on at the back. Ta-da! Now your stand is assembled. Now, stand here. Your sponge goes here, and. Boom, 
when you have your soldering, put it in there. Ta-da! Now your sponge is supposed to be wet. You're going to get some water to wet your sponge. Uh, I'm going to wet the sponge now to see how much the sponge expands. Actually, I should probably dunk it in here because I don't want to get my table wet. Okay, whoops, yuck. Okay, the sponge expands a fair bit, which is good. The sponge was like way far thin when I first got it. it didn't even look like a sponge, it looked like a, like a communion cracker or something. Communion wafer. Ta-da! Alright, that was just my unboxing of the Yom 14-in-1 soldering iron kit. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to be using this in the next video, which I'm going to film right now. I'm going to be putting some LED strips on my RC aeroplane. So stay tuned for that in the next video. Well, not on this channel. I'll leave a link to it. But yeah, that's my video. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.